How do you define how do you define jazz? Um, in your own mind, three, I don't mean to look. You know, three three elements of jazz that have to be present. Uh, uh, one is improvisation, which is the I part, it's freedom to express yourself. The second is swing, which is the opposite of the I. It's the us. And swing is a matter of coordination and balance. It, it teaches you diplomacy. Yes, you have freedom, but other people have freedom too. So how are y'all going to get that together? How is your freedom going to go from yours to ours? So as you revel in that improvisation, oh, I can play with an owl, you playing too. <laughs> then the blues. The blues aesthetic is our spiritual overview, which is optimism in the face of adversity and an optimism that's not naive, which is that we're, this, is, this is life. Bad things happen. That's a fact of being alive. There's no perfection. If you're out here, you're paying dues. And how do you deal with those dues? And how do you use what you have to, to, to be resilient and to, to deepen your humanity through the tragedy and the struggles? And how can you express the depth of that humanity that is earned in a way that will uplift people and give them a, a, a general, this is to, to exhibit a generosity of feeling and, and uh, a generosity of spirit and a depth of feeling that we call soul that comes out of the blues aesthetic. And it's also a very essential ingredient uh, to our music. And when it's not present, even if you're a great improviser, even if you can swing, you're not in that line. Those, all three of those things must be present. That's incredible. Uh, yes, sir. Jazz music is the perfect metaphor for democracy. We improvise, which is our individual rights and freedoms. We swing, which means we are responsible to nurture the common good of everyone and find balance. And we play the blues, which means no matter how bad things get, we remain optimistic while still mindful of problems. I like to always think about the founders and all the geniuses and men of accomplishment. Think about them in terms of the first beboppers like Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk. They were working out fundamentals of an idea of a way to play that featured very, very quick thinking, adjustment, and the ability to have a light framework and fill it with things of genius that also can be amended in the same way that we work under the, the Constitution. Let's not forget that the federal Constitution has many, many fewer words than any state Constitution. So they framed a very flexible and strong document that still serves us well if we choose to follow it. The question that confronts us right now as a nation is, do we want to find a better way? And if we answer affirmative, we'll make it through these things. If we decide no, we want to be our worst selves, we're going to struggle.